In this video, we are just gonna walk through how do I place some JavaScript into an HTML document. So remember that JavaScript is a client-side language that allows you to add some additional interactivity to your web page. So web pages are typically made up of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, all of which are client-side languages. So that code is downloaded from the host to your client computer, the computer visiting the web page, and your browser takes your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and translates that into a presentable website. Now, adding JavaScript to a web page is actually added very similarly to adding CSS. You can add what's called inline JavaScript, like you would using the style attribute in CSS. You can add JavaScript to an HTML document using a script tag like you would a style tag with CSS or you can add JavaScript in an external file using also a script tag like you would using a link tag with CSS. So we are going to take a basic JavaScript command an alert function which will create a little pop-up with a message and we are going to place that into an HTML document using inline JavaScript internal JavaScript and an external JavaScript document. All right, so let's create a new file. I'm gonna call mine placement.html and let's just add our standard HTML tags. and a quick title. All right, and because HTML is a client side language, I can simply go to my browser and open up that file and test locally. All right, so there's my web page so far, just a blank page with a short title. So let's start by adding inline JavaScript. So I'm going to go back to my HTML and just add a button. And if I want to add inline JavaScript, I go to the tag that I want to add some JavaScript to, most likely the element that you want to initiate this JavaScript, in this case, my button. We add a JavaScript event. So I'm gonna say on click. And then in here we can place JavaScript. So the command that we're going to test is alert. So we can just add a little pop-up that is going to say hello world. And let's save that. And refresh my page. And now I get a button and when I click, we get our little pop-up. So inline JavaScript is typically added to the element you want to initiate this script, and it's added using an event attribute. The events include things like on click, on mouse over, on mouse out, on submit, and there are many more. Alternatively, you can add inline JavaScript using a standard href tag. So if I have a link here, and I want to add some JavaScript instead of a URL. So typically I would put in here the URL that I want this page to load when this element is clicked. Now I cannot just add my JavaScript here. Or our browser is going to think that that is a URL. So when placing JavaScript inside an href attribute, we need to pre prefix it with the term JavaScript. And as far as I know, this is the only attribute where you actually have to prefix it with JavaScript. But now if I save that and refresh, my button is still working and my link now results in the same effect. Next, let's add some internal JavaScript.
So if I want to add some internal JavaScript, much like adding internal styles, I use a script tag. Whereas with CSS, you would use a style tag. And now I can place any JavaScript in here. And that script in this case will be executed as soon as the page is loaded. So if I now refresh, my internal JavaScript alert is initiated right away and my previous buttons are still working. So that is internal JavaScript. And finally, the last location you can put some JavaScript is in a separate file. So if I create a new file, I'm gonna call this external.js. So much like adding an external CSS file, I create a new text document, I give it the JS extension, and then in this document, I don't need any script tags. I simply write my JavaScript. So in this case, I will cause another alert to pop up with the term external JavaScript. And we almost forgot our exclamation mark because this is very exciting. And now to link my HTML to my JavaScript, I go back to my HTML, I add a source attribute, and in here I put the URL of my JavaScript. Now you should always close that script tag, even though it kind of looks like it would be fine without it. And in the case of a style sheet, I would not have to close my link tag but if you leave a script tag open, your browser is going to expect everything after that script tag to be JavaScript. So we need to make sure that we close this. And now if I refresh my document, right, I get my external alert. I get my internal alert. And now when I click a button, I get my inline alert.